um, the purpose of this video is to um, and sort of walk you through it from the beginning to the end and explain certain things as I go along. Uh, the game is something shown to be uh, deliberately chosen to be fairly simple. Um, it's actually based on a game I remember from the Commodore PET umpteen years ago and um, it's a very simple game. There's uh, numbers arranged on the screen and you have to move around and collect as many of them in the time available. Um, each number has a score 1 to 9 and it's a gay, sort of very simple strategic game because you have to work out the kind of most optimal pattern within 60 seconds. It's not complicated but it can be done in a short period of time which is the main point. Okay, we'll start with the development environment. This is Arch Linux. Um, the editor is, is the Sublime Text. Um, everything else is straight out of the release directory file. Um, all I've done is create a directory and un unzip the release into it. You can see this here. There's a subdirectory crossdev in which I put all the files that are in a file called crossdev.zip um, which is a kind of starter program for doing cross development and you can see the um, various files involved here this would run pretty much identically on Windows except you'd use the batch file rather than the shell script um, there's the crossdev.zip file itself um, that's an artifact of the emulator for debugging there's a source file, there's a tokenized file, there's some sprite files there's a storage directory the emulator used and the compressed graphics file and what the script does is this. Let's just have a look at that. I'll load that in. It's not a make file, it's a build file. The, like I said, the Windows directory is almost identical. It only does three things. Um, this converts the images that are available to um, a graphics format file, as a Python script does this. There's a second Python script that converts a text source file, which is this thing, into a program file. And then we run the emulator. Um, this thing here tells to load program.bass, which is the final file at page, which is where in basic in the basic program is loaded, and then run it. That's what the exec means. 